So believe it or not, your tongue can actually help you decode your body problems. So I want everyone to take their mirrors, open up, and say, ah, ah. ah. Take a good look at your tongue, and the reason I'm having you do that can you touch is your health? tongue actually can help you decode potential health problems. Anyone have any concerns? Let's talk about one thing that really I want everyone to, to learn about, and that is a, an acutely swollen tongue. It can be called angioedema. Your, a swollen tongue that comes on acutely can be a sign of an anaphylactic reaction. Mm -hmm. If you look at that gentleman's mouth, he is close to losing the ability to breathe. If your tongue is swelling to that stage, particularly if it's associated with difficulty breathing, any sort of rash suggesting an allergic reaction, that is a true medical emergency. And mm -hmm. you probably have all seen it just oh, yeah. like me. It, it happens pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. you, you sometimes will get lip swelling as well. And if yeah. you ignore it, when the tongue gets that big, you can't breathe yeah, anymore. You lose your airway. The swelling down below, even below the tongue, yes. the airway is, is about to close off. Mm -hmm. Alternatively, if you just have a swollen tongue that's a little bit more prolonged or chronic, it can sometimes be the sign of a vitamin deficiency, vitamin B deficiency, even hypothyroidism, where you have low thyroid hormone levels in your body. So that's one thing. Another thing is, raise your hand, does anyone, does anyone here ever get sores in their mouth or tongue? Oh, I mean, it's okay. Yeah. It's yeah. Very common. Canker sores are, are quite common. They're also called aphthous ulcers. And what these typically look like, I want to pull up this picture because it tends to be red around the exterior with a little bit of a yellow base. Mm -hmm. It should be less than a centimeter. And most canker sores, aka aphthous ulcers, mm -hmm. are not anything to be concerned about. The one time we do mention that you should be wary is if you're getting them all the time, constantly. Again, it can be caused by vitamin deficiency, vitamin B12 deficiency, iron deficiency. In some cases, even an autoimmune problem could be at play. Uh, we know stress brings them on. Certain acerbic foods can make it worse. Yeah, something, things like citrus yes. happens a lot. And sometimes something I get, if you show this picture again, it's, a, it's not one of those big sores, just one of those tiny pink bumps, one of the papilla or get taste irritated. buds. Get irritated. That can hurt. Oh, man, it really bugs me. If you have a sore that doesn't go away, though, it's, if it's been a week or 10 days, get it checked out because you've got to start thinking about oral cancer. Yeah.